Hi and welcome back to the Mr Talk Maths video. This week's video is all about finding the radius of this circle. If you want to have a go at this problem now, you can probably work this out in your head without doing any kind of uh, working out or writing down that working out, I should say. So if you want to, feel free to pause the video now. Otherwise, I'm going to start going through my solution. Okay, now the first thing that I would want to do for my solution is to put in these vertical, um, this vertical line representing the diameter, and then this horizontal line going from the tip of these one centimetre or one unit uh, line segments. Now once I've done that, I'm going to start labelling uh, some of these lengths. So that's going to have a length of one, because that's the same height. Uh, these are going to have length three, and from here to here is going to be a length of 2r, I'm going to call it, minus 1, because we're interested in working out that radius. Now the next thing um, that I would expect um, you to know to, to do this solution, at least this way anyway, um, is a circle theorem. Now it's an IGCSE circle theorem, so some of you might not be aware of it, but essentially if we've got two uh, chords that intersect, and let's call each of these line segments, let's call that A, that B, let's label them, that X and that Y. So X goes from here to where they intersect, and Y from the intersection to the circumference, and A and B similar. Uh, this circle theorem is that A times by B is equal to X times by Y. Now if we apply that to what we've got here with our intersecting chords, uh, we've got three times by 3, that's got to be equal to 2r minus 1 times by 1. Okay, now that gives us 2r minus 1 is equal to 9, and now you can see where this is going to come from. 2r is equal to 10, and then divide by 2r is equal to 5, which is pretty neat, I think. Pretty uh, nice way of working out that solution. If you had a better way, or, or even a different way, maybe one that doesn't use that intersecting chord theorem, um, share it down in the comments. How, how, how else could you do this? Okay, I hope you enjoyed that, and I will see you next week for another problem. Bye-bye. If you like this video, then there should be plenty more videos just up here. Uh, hopefully it's, it's here. That's where it should be, the one that you want to watch next. Okay, see you in the next one. Bye-bye.